Hello Leo, welcome to your next six months in love reading. We're gonna be looking at what you can expect in love for the next six months. As always, it's meant to be a general reading, so it will not resonate with every Leo watching. So just take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation. Feel free to flip the roles if they resonate more for you. And don't forget to check out your moon and rising signs. I'll have a playlist, the playlist for each sign linked in the description box, so you can check out your other placements. All right, spirits, angels, guides, messages, please, for Leo. For Leo in love for the next six months. What can Leo expect in love for the next six months? Okay, we have poetic justice. You will have justice and balance will be restored. Love that. Moving forward at the bottom of the deck. Okay. What else for Leo? What can Leo expect in the next six months in love? What can Leo expect spirit, for the next six months in love? Curious, interested, and inquisitive. Ooh, sometimes I feel looking into the other person. What's at the bottom of the deck? Capricorn. Okay. This is um, similar to the devil energy, the major arcana, the devil. I'm getting almost like someone's like really looking into you. And didn't you just have a reading about someone being a little bit obsessed? Like I see someone spying on you here or vice versa. What else for Leo? What can Leo expect in the next six months when it comes to love? What can Leo, oh my gosh, please forgive my dogs in the background. What can Leo expect, Spirit, in love in the next six months? Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Flirt on the bottom of the deck. So this is a very, like, new energy. Flirty energy. We'll have to see what that's about. Spirit, tell me more for Leo in love in the next six months. What can Leo expect in the next six months in love? What can Leo expect for the next six months in love spirit? Let's see. Wow, starting off with the Ten of Cups, geez. Nine of Swords, Eight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, the Seven of wands and the emperor aries energy i'm getting that someone's upset okay let me get a clarifier for all of these and then i'll use my clear um my little clarifying deck let's start here with this ten of cups why is the ten of cups here for leo why is the Ten of Cups here, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Cups here? The Hermit, Virgo Energy. And the Moon at the bottom of the deck, Pisces Energy. It's like someone's thinking about something in secret related to happiness or family. Okay, let's keep going. I'm gonna clarify these further. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Why is the Nine of Swords here? Why is the Nine of Swords here? The moon, yeah, okay, someone's worried about this, about something hidden, about a secret. Maybe that's why they're so curious because they're trying to figure something out. There's anxiety here due to like a secret. This could be an illusion of some sort. I feel like someone's like holding back or hiding something. Okay, this is getting very juicy. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here for Leo? What's it? Nine of Wands. 
again, it's like this guarded energy. We have the seven of wands that came up, the nine of wands. We have the king of cups and the seven of swords. So it's almost like someone can smell, okay, I heard smell it. Like someone can smell this happening. It's like they're trying to stay busy, um, but they can sense that either someone's watching them or someone's keeping tabs on them, or there's something going on here. And I feel like it's someone that is interested, but they're being very sneaky about this. Like they're, okay, so for example, I'm getting that someone's like secretly looking at your Instagram or like secretly like has their eye on you on what you're doing, keeps tabs on you in some way, Leo. And they do this like behind your back. Um, it's like they're, they're hiding their true feelings or their intentions from you in some way. So let's get on my little clarifier deck here. Let's see. What's going on here for Leo? What's going on here, Spirit, for Leo? Can we get some clarity, please? For Leo. Let's start with this Ten of Cups and the Hermit. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Hermit? Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Hermit? Nope. Yikes, Eight of Pentacles reverse and the Ace of Cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups here with the Hermit? Five of Pentacles reverse, Four of Wands reverse, Two of Wands reverse, and the High Priestess. Someone's thinking about their true happiness because they're so unhappy. Something's not working out for them. With the Eight of Pentacles reversed, the Ace of Cups reversed. This could be that love's not working out for them. This could be anything. Um, I feel like they pretend that everything's okay, or at least they, they're maybe getting clarity about the fact that they're so unhappy, you know, that they're so sad. I don't know if this is you or your person, Leo, but... I feel like that's why someone is kind of like thinking here with the Hermit. Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups and the Hermit? Can I get one more? King of Swords reverse. Yikes. The Sun. This is someone that was deceiving themselves, I feel. They were ignoring their intuition or deceiving themselves about their true situation. But they're so unhappy that I don't think this is someone that could ignore it for long. And it's, um, yeah, something's like not working out for this person. I don't know if this happened in your connection. Like maybe your connection didn't work out with this person. Um... Maybe there were too many fights or too many difficulties here. Maybe somebody wasn't putting in the effort. But I feel like someone's really sad, really heartbroken here. And also like lie to themselves. Like if you broke up with this person, this is someone that would tell themselves that they're okay. But they, they secretly are not. Can I get one more for the Ten of Cups and the Hermit? Um, the moon reverse, Pisces energy, yeah. Interesting. And then I have the high priestess at the bottom of the deck. So again, it's like there's like a secret here that needs to come out or a revelation. Maybe someone's waking up to the fact. But with the nine of swords here with the moon, it's like they're scared about that. Tell me about the nine of swords and the moon. Tell me about the nine of swords and the moon. What's the nine of swords here? with the moon. 
the lovers reverse gemini energy why is the nine of swords here with the moon strength leo energy there you are why is the nine of swords here with the moon i think you separated from this person or there was a separation in the past but i don't think this person was like ever got over it tell me about the nine of swords and the moon yeah the high priestess there's a secret here and it's regarding you and it's tied to like i feel a separation or a disconnect the chariot reverse cancer energy two of pentacles reverse there's a king of cups again and justice it's like they're holding on to maybe making this right libra energy poetic justice is here this person if you're not together with this person they've always been looking you up keeping tabs on you, secretly watching you. I don't think this person has communicated. Um, I think they've kept these feelings to themselves. They're stuck on you, this person. And I keep getting this with Leos. I don't know what you did to this person, <laughs> um, but it keeps coming up for Leos. Like someone's like obsessed with you or like torn up about you. Like you did a number on them. Like you did a real number on this person. Can I get one more for this strength card? Okay, tell me about strength. Can you tell me about strength? The Hierophant, Taurus energy, looking on the Six of Pentacles. Yeah. I think if this person wishes they could like address this, make things right, um, but, but then I have the, yeah, Two of Cups at the bottom of the deck. If they could, they would, but they're scared to come forward. And I don't know if it's because of the, the way they've treated you or what has happened in the past. I just split the deck and there's a death card, Scorpio. So it's like there was an ending here, I feel, for a lot of you. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. You know, it could be that one of you wants to work on this and the other one is like, I don't trust you. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. What's this about? Four of Cups Reverse. Why is the Eight of Pentacles here? With the Nine of Wands. And of course, um, Leo, you don't have to feel the same way. You don't even have to like like this person. Just showing you what's showing, what's showing up here for you. King of Wands Reverse, Six of Swords. So with the Four of Cups reverse and the Eight of oh, uh, Swords reverse, I'm getting open, like open to an idea, open to a possibility, no longer fearful. But then I have the King of Wands reverse and the Six of Swords. So it's almost like someone is free of a situation and is like not looking back here. Why is the King of Wands reverse? Why is the King of Wands reverse? Knight of Cups reverse and the Emperor Aries energy. Well, with the Knight of Cups reverse and the King of Wands reverse, that's not a good mix. <laughs> um, then I have the Six of Wands and the Seven of Wands. Yeah, the Five of Swords. So I'm getting like a resistance here. It's like one of you wants this and the other one is like, I'm not sure. I don't think that's a good idea. Um, I think this person's going to try to appear to you as an emperor energy, but they're not. This is not an emperor energy. Um, tell me about the six of swords. This person, I feel like they, they uh, I almost am feeling bad for them. Five of Swords and the Nine of Cups. <sighs> Two of Swords and the, and the Ace of Swords. I, I really feel like you're not open to this. One of you is not open to communicating, to doing this. Let me know if that's you, Leo, in the comments. You know, I, I don't feel like you're open to hearing from this person. I feel like this is someone you had something with, but maybe they just were an illusion or there were too many lies or secrets or too many things that were off. And I feel like, I don't know, it's like you don't you don't want to deal with this anymore. Someone here doesn't want to deal with this anymore because 
I honestly don't think that this is someone that truly understands what you need. For whatever reason, it's like they don't really get it. Death, Scorpio energy. Yeah, I feel like someone's done. And I kind of feel bad for this person because I think that they are like hung up on you. Yeah. And they, they can't make this happen. This is someone that can't make this happen. And you are their wish fulfillment. So it kind of sucks that they screwed this up. And I feel like they're curious about how you feel, what you think of the situation. Maybe you block this person or stop communicating with this person. But I feel like they're like wondering how you feel about it all. In terms of like action, I don't really see them doing anything. I mean, I see them working on maybe presenting themselves to you as this emperor at some point. Let's see. Tell me about this emperor. Tell me about the emperor. Why is the emperor here? Six of cups reverse. Yeah, I feel like this is someone from the past that's still stuck in the past. Tell me about the this emperor. Is this emperor going to do anything, spirit? Is this emperor going to do anything? The star. Yeah, so maybe they'll try to come in and heal this or um, heal the past. Aquarius energy with the star. I don't know if you can tell. Um, but I don't know. I, I kind of feel for this person. Um, I don't think you're going to take this person back. I think they hope for happiness here, but... And they're going to present themselves as an emperor, even though they're not. So be very careful there. So that's what I have for you, Leo. Um, you really did a number on this person. I think that's, that's, that's going to be the title of this video because it's so true. They are so hung up on you and still wanting to know what you're up to and how you feel. And I feel like they, they haven't told you how they truly feel. It's like they might have, like I picture this person being like, fine, I don't need you. And then all they do is cry about you, you know? cross watchers i'm just i'm reading for leo okay <laughs> all right so i'm gonna leave it there leo thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe if you enjoy the reading and want to see more readings from me and i will see you all in another video very soon take care